Hey backseaters, uh, thanks for joining us again. I know uh, it's a little, this is a pop-up uh, live on patrol. I know the cat team uh, this afternoon didn't get out, so I called the Rev and I said, Rev, we should go out for a little bit. And I gotta tell you that uh, no matter what kind of mood I'm in, and you know, this has been a tough two weeks. It, it's between the Burnsville incident and, and our incident, just watching the impact that it has on uh, some of our deputies. It, it's been a little, a little bit difficult, but when I hear my son's music, there it, it uh, cheers me up. Yeah, that's okay, right? That's right. perfectly fine. Um, and then, in case you, some of you, a lot of you wonder, that is my son. He passed away, but his name is Kyle Fletcher, and. Um, you can kind of find them on YouTube or SoundCloud. It's got a number of records, but that song "Butterfly" is my personal favorite, so we use that periodically. But uh, in either case, Deputy Kill is doing good. I spent a fair amount of time with him yesterday, and uh, he's doing good long term. You know, in terms of the impact on your family and your children. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see because that is a scary thing for family as it should be. Um, so that's number one. Uh, rest assured he's, he's doing good physically. We'll just sink it day by day. He's surrounded by a lot of his teammates at the CAD team and some of those as you imagine uh, took that pretty hard too but not going to belabor that point today because we're optimistic. Uh, regarding the investigation, uh, rest assured, St. Paul Police Department is homicide unit is investigating, and I'm 100% confident that because they have the car, the DNA, the clues, 
that they will solve the case. So that's all I'll say about it at this point. Um, I had some, oh, something else I wanted to say. A lot of you were wondering why the camera went black. <laughs> and uh, fair question. Um, it was not intentional. Uh, but having said that, I'm not saying I wouldn't have done it myself once we got there, but so in order to control the different cameras, the smartest man, Kyle Meestead, has a computer that he can control the cameras on, and I have a camera here in the car, and it's one touch I can move it to a different camera. So Rev, can you, can you tell them what you're looking at there on that camera, on that phone face, what's that look like and the different names? Yeah, it looks like just a 9-pad, 12-pad keypad with Cam 1 saying uh, Bob, 2, Mike, 4, is that 4 saying Pat, yep. 6 is Nicole, the next one is Nicole again, and then old Camera 3 is Darren, my buddy, the cat team is Camera 5. You get the point. Yeah, I mean, it's... There's a lot of different buttons here. And in fact, there's more if you scroll down. But when you're driving at high speed trying to catch up to Joe's pursuit on Friday, things do tend to dislodge and fly around. We keep the camera on a magnetic mount here. But, uh... So, best guess is the camera fell. I might have grabbed it, touched a different box on the screen, and uh, caused it to go black, but... Since it went black before we even knew that he had been shot, I, I can assure you it wasn't any, it wasn't intentional. Um, but I don't know that I would have wanted to expose him to that when we pulled up. Anyhow, not that we were even thinking in those terms. Normally we just maybe reverse the camera. But Pat and I both jumped out of the car without our phones because we were concerned we wanted to check on Joe. Officer Sandell from St. Paul had just arrived and he was in the process of taking off his vest to see if the bullet had broke the skin. So then we went to immediately looking for casings after we gave Joe a little hug. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, my wife and the smartest man were texting and calling us frantically, telling us that the screen went black. And it wasn't until I got back in the car and answered the phone that we knew that. So it wasn't intentional. However, we reserve the right to, uh, if we think it's in the best interest, to, to mute what we're seeing. Um, but uh, it wasn't, wasn't, wasn't what we did. So that's that update. For those of you that are concerned about me wearing a vest, I do wear a vest. It's just under my pullover. Feel it there. Feel it there. See? Oh, yeah. He I, got one. I, I, I wear a vest, to, you know, of course it makes me look attractively fat. But uh, I am considering, however, now, to be honest with you, wearing a tactical vest that is uh, covers a little more and allows you to carry equipment like most of the CAD team does carry. So you might see me wear, do a change, a little change in attire as we go forward. That's a way, that last deal's a wake up call for everybody. Finally, if you haven't listened to my radio interview with Chad Hartman, it's on the Facebook page. Love if you would listen to it. It's pretty long, 15 minutes long, but it, uh, it gets uh, it gets uh, some messages out that needed to be said. So, but Chad called me. I didn't. I didn't solicit the interview. He called. And glad to oblige him. <laughs> so, the cat team is out tonight again. Joe is going to be on workers' comp for a period of time until he's physically and mentally cleared to come back to work. So Rev, I, uh, I kind of, 
you a little overview there. What's new in your life? You, you know, you went to a graduation of some of our correctional officers. That was yes, that posted, was fun. Posted yeah. on <laughs> on the uh, sheriff's department page. Thanks for going there. Yeah, you were at Ricky Ellis's birthday party tonight. 72 years old, Ricky Sir, Ellis. Ricky Ellis, 72 years old. Worked for the St. Paul Police Department. Now works for the Sheriff's Office as our ombudsman in the jail, making sure the inmates have someone to complain to. Right. right. And he's good at what he does. Yeah. We love him. We so, definitely love him. It was an honor to sit beside him tonight and just talk and laugh. <laughs> yep. Food was good. And we, uh, yeah, it was just a nice time. The graduation, I want to give Under Sheriff Ashley a shout out. She did a wonderful Ashley job. Ashley Bryant, charge of the jail. <laughs> yeah, she did a wonderful job. She truly, truly represented well. Uh, to look at those young people and some older people uh, become COs, correctional officers, is a great step in the. You know what? Yep. We're just moving we, in the right direction. We need them. And uh, Mickey Frost, who uh, most of you know, uh, is a very good friend of mine. Mickey has been pushing. We need to see more of our inner city people taking the oath. Yes. And and if we can just figure out how to get them to take the oath. Well, first they got to take the test. Well, yeah. And, and they have to have. They, some some of them are told don't be part of right. We got to stop right? that stuff. That's what has to change. We've got to stop telling people that they don't want to be police officers. You can't ask for a system to change if you ain't willing to help change it. Right. And uh, I, I applaud Mickey because he's uh, everybody that posts. He whatever agency it is, he puts their flyer up and encourages our young people to become COs, CSOs, whatever the position is, get on the team so that you can help make a difference in our community. Thanks, Mick. It's raining, it looks like now. After all that work we did to get the windshield <laughs> clean, Rev, we worked our butts off to clean this windshield tonight, and folks. Man, look. Oh, and, my. And then the rain started. You know, we've, we've, we've discovered over time that when you take your car to to the car wash, when they wax it at the very end, it leaves a wax film on your windshield, which normally you wouldn't mind, except that when it comes to live on patrol, we don't want it. Right. right. We don't need that wax. We don't need that. Adult female to So in, in terms of crime, there was a... There was a robbery up in May, at Maplewood Mall complex there at the GameStop. Person came in and robbed the GameStop. Demanded all the money. Suspect is at large. There was a shots fired call over there by Walters Liquor at Uni and Arundel. Just a little bit ago. What else we got? Thank you, backseaters. Thank you. Uh, you're doing once again. You're doing a marvelous job, uh, meeting, the, helping us meet the need of the community. Uh, we have noticed me, Star Wars, and Sergeant Scheller, an increase in uh, not just homeless adults, but adults who have children that are homeless, and. The gifts that you send are helping. And so I say thank you. I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a, the system's really not up to speed in terms of taking care of the children. Rev and I were talking about last week there was a call on a woman who overdosed in a bus stop. Oh. And uh, the squads were going there and the caller said she's she's passed out unconscious, but there's three small children with her. Sad. That's about that's about as bad as it gets. Yeah. Three small children with her. So 
take a look at your comments there, Rev, and uh, let's see, see, the see if uh, you got have you got any questions? Excuse me, Rev, trying to kill me with the roll aids. <laughs> I was just helping you. I know, I'm just kidding. Those little pieces of roll aids sometimes they get stuck in your mouth. Parts. It was a preventative roll aid too, though. Preventative. Rev and I went to McDonald's before we started. <laughs> I only ate half of what Rev had. Right. Uh, you just told him I was at Ricky Ellis's thing. Now you oh, tell yeah, me yeah. I, <laughs> I can't see Beverly now. My wife is like, I know he didn't eat McDonald's. No. Hey, because we're uh, just looking over there, I got an audio message at the speedway. Tells people thank you for shopping here, and all your movements are being recorded. Are being recorded. So anyhow, what I was going to say is, since this is a pop-up on a Wednesday night, be sure to share this with your other friends. I don't, I don't even know if Pat knows that Rev and I were going to go out tonight for a little bit. Pat went home. About six work days today. I haven't seen Pat on here yet. Pat, are you here? You know he'll comment. Just text <laughs> him. Text him to share the stream to the pages he shares it right. to. So four two four four six. Our uh, CAT team has been working more closely with the uh, Minneapolis uh, members that are assigned to carjacking. And uh, it's probably the best communication that I've seen, and I've been around for, well, too many years, but it's finally we have a, I think, good communication about what's happening on their side of the river and what's happening with ours and how we can help each other. And obviously they have their hands full over there. Shootings, carjackings. So we're gonna head out to Wiper Avenue, we'll go north a little bit, check out a couple locations. You got we have all the radios on. Not a lot of traffic right at the moment. I don't know what that means. Maybe the bachelor's <laughs> on. Is the bachelor on? I don't know. I don't know. We were laughing about the bachelor today. Bachelor. <laughs> hey, bachelor. Speaking of the bachelor, one of the three finalists. Don't ask me how I know this, but you know, I just try to stay on top of stuff. Is a woman named Daisy. Okay. <laughs> From Becker, Minnesota. Did you know she's from Becker, Minnesota? No. Three finalists. One of them is Daisy from Becker, Minnesota. So to Daisy's family, if there's anybody listening that knows Daisy, congratulations on being one of the three finalists. My wife is personally rooting for your daughter, Daisy. <laughs> um, it's a good thing we got more than one TV though in our house, but right, but, right. <laughs> but my wife is personally rooting for Daisy, and uh, I'm sure that sh it's probably already been filmed. Somebody knows the answer, but Daisy uh, Kent from Becker, Minnesota. Daisy Kent from Becker, Minnesota. And yeah. so, what happens, Rev? In case you don't know, apparently they give roses to the people that are staying. Right. Right. Whew, and that's a lot of pressure. 
lot of pressure. And if you don't get a rose, then you're roseless. Then you get to go home. <laughs> yeah, then you ride in the in the limousine and you you tell the camera person why you were the perfect match for the bachelor, and he should have chose you, right? <laughs> So is that really how it happens? You sit in the car and... I've seen one or two episodes. <laughs> wow, Bob. <laughs> that's how... Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, never mind. Yeah, that's how the, normally yeah, they do it when they reject people. So... They just... They, basically, they argue their point after they're gone. But, you know, sometimes they bring past losers back for future bachelors or sometimes they have a person that lost that gets to be the bachelorette yeah i did hear that before but i think you hear that on i'm movie. just reading on a script you know i don't know any of this right <laughs> right <laughs> so anyhow anybody there that knows daisy <laughs> from <laughs> daisy kent from becker and, uh, daisy wow <laughs> sue barn barris <laughs> just said daisy doesn't win she's second <laughs> well, you can't tell us ahead of time, Sue. How do you know that? <laughs> Sue, tell us how you know that. I don't know. Maybe Most people say they never watch the show. Here's the thing. Maybe my wife is watching re past recorded versions so that I, if I happen to catch a part of it, it's maybe I'm like a week behind. Two right, weeks. right. I don't know. I don't think so. All right, well, Daisy from Becker, here's the thing. Well, they're laughing at you, buddy. They say you went from being a Swifty to not. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing. If it's true that Daisy lost, okay? If that's true, this is a, an official invitation for her to come and hang out with the cat team. There you go. There might be some available deputies at the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office, Daisy. That's all I'm saying. But at a minimum, hey, come and hang out with the CAD team for a day. We would, we would, we would love to have you hang if you lost. If you win, congratulations, happy honeymoon, and go on. Wow. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that know what's. Oh, did you see uh, Travis Kelsey's brother give his retirement speech? Yes. You guys? Yes. Yeah. Very emotional, right? Yep. Jason Kelsey give his retirement speech. That was hard. Obviously, they're a very emotional family. I was thinking about that. All right. Somebody else just said Daisy is going to win. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to go and find out what exactly it's about. Well, we don't want to spoil the surprise. If it's somewhere in social media, we don't want to spoil it. But, win or lose, Daisy, open invitation to come and visit the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office CAD team. What else? What other news? New news. New news. What else we got? Man, I'm trying to keep up with these people. Is, they is know everything. Is Taylor Swift like the richest woman in America? I said, how long you take him to answer that? I don't know. I'm telling you. They, they were talking about how much she made on one concert in, I don't know where, Australia? Holy mackerel. Oh, the high school hockey tournament. Yep, it started today. Oh, well, it, the Class A, Double A starts tomorrow. Yes, you're all right. Yeah. And uh, do you have any scores of what happened today? Yep, uh, I can tell you. Nice and, uh, the, nice, nice and loud so I can The hear. first game was, help me somebody, because it was 8 to 2 was the final. Ask me how I know. Because I'm sitting right in the Skyway talking to all the young people. It is. Well, there was probably four games today, right? Yes. Class A games. And Hermantown, they won, it looks like, too. Let me go to the. Brackets. I think they should move up to a higher. 
higher category, but that's just me. Yeah. Even though they are relatively here, small. Yeah. But, yeah. They're always winning. Oh, Ooh. Hermantown. Yeah, Hermantown and the team that won earlier is War Road. War Road. They won earlier. Yeah. New Ulm lost to War Road, 8 to 1. Yeah. Cathedral beat Northfield, okay, they beat 5 them. to 3. Okay. Hermantown beat Alexandria, 6 to nothing. Orono is playing now with Monomita. Okay, Monomita is in there, that's right. They're in there, yep. And then we start again tomorrow, bright and early. Tomorrow, double eight, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. You got Rochester Central against Chanhassen. And Chanhassen, big, big upset against Minnetonka in the section final. Two to one. They, uh, big upset. Then you got Creighton Durham Hall taking on Centennial. Creighton Durham Hall knocked out uh, St. Thomas, I think. And Centennial is a quality squad, but that'll be. You know, they always like those public versus private school right. matches. Yep. Elk River Zimmerman will take on Edina. Elk River got a long history. So does Edina. Great hockey. That's tomorrow night at 6. Yep. And then Grand Rapids and White Bear Lake close it out tomorrow. Grand Rapids and White Bear Lake. And I will be there for that game for certain. <laughs> Got a lot of kids on the White Bear Lake team that our son played hockey with when he was in squirts and peewees. And uh, their goalie, Leo Gabriel, is phenomenal. And uh, known his dad and his mom and his brother there for many years and it'll be fun to fun to watch Leo in the Nets again. And in my neighborhood, Creighton uh, will play Central in basketball in the next round because Central won today. Okay. Yeah. So just if you're from out state, we are the state of hockey here in Minnesota and this is the finest high school hockey tournament in the world and a lot of pro players end up coming right through this tournament and certainly a lot of division one college yes. prospects as well but no more enjoyable time than getting together and watching the state high school hockey tournament are you going tomorrow at all no uh you know i'm going to basketball game <laughs> uh washburn yeah. Have you watched Washburn's basketball team? I have not. They have a 6-8. I did hear that. And he's going to Colorado State. 6-8. And he was shooting three points. Did he stop growing yet? That's the question. That's the question. And oh, didn't they look like they got three other ones right behind him? Take his place next year. They're all just. Yes, Washburn. Shout out to Washburn. I saw Washburn playing. The but you're assuming. Uh, 77 to 73 on Saturday. Washburn won. That was just the Twin Cities game. Twin Cities game. Yeah, it was one. I mean, and the crowd was just into it. It was great to just be a part of that. The Rondo neighborhood hosted the game well. That's cool. Yeah. I, I nothing, called you that nothing day. Nothing I better li like better than you having a smile on your face. Oh, man, I was smiling. And yep. Yes. You know, I coached at Jimmy Lee football. And to look at the kids that I coached, they're all grown now. Yeah, but I don't like growing or like parents. <laughs> yeah, I said, wow. But the families that were moving in the hockey tournament. Now we watched last week. It was uh, what was it last week? Uh, 
uh, wrestling. Couple bags in, you know, and the qu families was quiet. Wow, the Skyway is lit up this week. Yeah, Already. Cool. They you know, my old partner, Mike Beeson and I, we patrol together. I think his grandson, Alex, I think it's Alex Braun, won the state championship. He goes to Woodbury. I think that's the last name. I think it's Alex Braun, but... In wrestling? Wrestling, yeah. State I think champion. we met him. Yeah, well, he's my, my old partners, Mike Beeson and Carol Beeson's. I think it's... His his mom is Jenny. She was like two years old when I was working with Mike. And now she's... That's kind of scary. She's the mom of a high schooler winning the state tournament. Wow. That's what happens in 40 years. That's what happens. That's what happens. But congratulations. Yeah, we're, we're meeting all the players, all the family. It's just that exciting. Cool. Are you making a good... Are you, are you representing as well? Very well. well. Okay, that's important, you know. Maybe not as well as Andre, because Andre be out there with him dancing. And, okay. Yeah. It's, it's good, though, to see all of them here. Because I'm from Ohio, as most people know, where sports, your high school sports is everything. Yeah. We don't have all these professional teams. and Right. Yeah. Jake and Greg's with Minnesota played Hotel Hotel, November 590. We'll go for Well, it was slow in the city, so we came out here to Maplewood. Maybe I'll just drive by the GameStop just to show you what uh, got stuck up today, too. Oh, is there through. something going on at the myth today or what? The Holy myth, mackerel, myth. what is it? The oh, they are stolen. Good. What the heck? 658 Conway downstairs. We usually have a couple so, guys working on the basement. The house keeps the basement door locked, and unhomed people come to the basement and want an officer to clear the space to make sure no one's down there. What is the occasion tonight at the Myth Nightclub? We definitely got some uh, <laughs> sheriff's deputies working here. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. Hey, we're just finding out. Are those guys doing any work over there or not? Huh? Are they doing it? Talking to my wife, it takes work all the time. Yeah, no, I'm talking about those guys over there, those off-duty guys. Hey, Are what's the occasion tonight? here tonight? What's Are you live? Yeah, we're live right now. Wow. What's the occasion? Beartooth. Uh, bear Beartooth. Bear okay, now, guys, I hate to ask this, but what is, what's Beartooth? I have no, I have no idea. <laughs> what well, I'm reading. Is it a band? It's a rock yeah. group. Whatever it's a rock reading, group? Yep. Yeah. You got quite the crowd here, huh? It is a busy night. You get them all in there okay? Oh, yeah. Beartooth at the Myth. All right. Well, I wish we had more. I wish we knew more. You want to say hi to your mom on live on patrol? Hey, mom. My no, yes. I'm not sleeping, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go do a TikTok dance in front of. Us. Well, go ahead. Go Boys, ahead. Get out in front. Get out in front. Get out there. Come on, Jesse. Man up. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> How all right, gentlemen. All right. We're doing good. We're, yeah. we're looking for we're looking for stolen cars, but we haven't found much. Slow tonight. Slow tonight. The other night was a little too active. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Got a good point. Bear tooth, huh? But uh -huh. well, we're gonna research that. Right. Thanks a lot. All you guys. right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bear tooth. Bear right? tooth. Yeah, I got it right here. Okay. Well, what kind of music do they play? That's all. They, all ages are welcome. Bear tooth. Oh, there's two parking spots right there. What the heck? Trevor, you better go in there. Check it out. You got some deputies standing right at the end of the lot. I saw them. I right, know. Well, yeah, they work off duty here. Mike Martin coordinates the off duty work here under Sheriff Mike Martin. So, but usually on Tuesday nights, I don't yeah, have that many big, big activities. But, and it's pretty, it's pretty early, really. Later, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bear Tooth Rock Band. Bear Tooth Rock Band. Well, they look the part. They got two new songs. Okay. The lead singer. I don't want a picture of 
brother. Caleb Shomo. Caleb Shomo. That's the well, lead. Name me one or two of their songs. Okay. In case I'm on the Jimmy Kimmel show. And I gotta... <laughs> Oh, here we go. Songs. Might Love Myself. Riptide. I Was Alive. Stick Stickly. Stick Stickly. She's looking up. I mean, look at all these cars over here. What are the concert, too? Holy moly. Well, I only got one thing to say. Somebody's making some money. So all of these people yeah. are over there. Yeah. That Old place is Coles. Back. Yeah, yeah, it is. Macy's and Cole. It looks like there must be no parking signs in that other parking lot. Clear land, bro. St. Paul drove by and Hamlin Security drove by. Everyone back in the house. So. I'm behind the vehicle, Minnesota Golf, Charlie Bravo, 787, uh, southbound Fairview uh, from University, signaling to go uh, eastbound University from Fairview. Um, he was blown stop signs. Uh, he has a felony warrant for a predatory offender. Well, there we go. Cat team's on one. <laughs> that guy is good. Yeah. And he's a DOC for you. Uh, Release violator, that's a good one. Headed that way. Copy, he's driving through recklessly right now. He's signaling to go northbound, blowing the red light at Fry, northbound Fry from University. Well, there we have it. Yeah. And that's because you left the city. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> one the alley, one Fry. Uh, probably gonna come out on snelling. Eastbound then. Yeah, they're just north there. Yeah. Abdi, uh, did, did you mean eastbound? Yes, sir, eastbound. Sorry about that. Is that you right there at uh, snelling and uni? Where'd he go? Um, he went through the alley, he was going northbound Fry from University, and then he cut through eastbound between the alley, between the buildings. Is it between Fry and Snelling? Definitely Can you hear that plate one more time? It's a uh, Golf Charlie Bravo 787. It's going to be a Toyota Highlander, newer. Yeah. Wait, the vehicle you saw was a Toyota Highlander? That plate is coming back to a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm out of friend the wrong plate then. But that guy, he was blowing the red lights and stop signs. What color was your Highlander? It was like a black bluish color. Three six four Tango. Three six four Tango. Three six four. Lexington at Red Fox on an APD in the parking lot of Chick Fil A. Black Ford Fiesta. Three four Tango. Clear advice. 
Busy, busy. It's getting here. It comes. Are you ready? What? It's gonna get busy. One object left. Twenty-one twenty-seven. Status. Twenty-one four. Well, not really sure if there was a felony warrant or it's a stolen or just driving recklessly, but clearly that car was blowing stop signs and driving reckless, but um, that's one of our civilian community service officers and he does not have red lights in his car, so he can only follow at a legal speed. So he's not really expected to keep up with. Any of these cars, that's why our, our troops were headed there. If you're at the hockey tournaments tomorrow, look for me. I'll be there. My son has acquired some tickets and asked me to go with him. <laughs> so I'm excited about going to the tournaments. We've kind of historically gone to games since he was little. That should be fun. Yeah. That should be fun. Part of it's just meeting and seeing all the people you've known for years that have been in the hockey world, you know? That is part of the fun. Right. Frost Avenue now, the heart of Maplewood, old Maplewood. We are trying hard to find a little activity for you. Yeah, I mean, if you cut the gift card you trail? Go that alleyway, you know? yeah. 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 so he went through that alleyway for a reason. He'd have to come back southbound and just, you know, that the path doesn't make a whole lot of sense. How's it going, partner? We're not. You, you don't yeah, have. You, social club. You, uh, you don't have to leave. Is always packed back there. You don't have to leave. We're just uh, checking on you. Know, you, can't check check you. I can't speak with you. I can't look at you. You can't look at us. We got a gift card for you. No, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Three four tingle three one. Female screaming stop. Hmm. And saying stop the car. Well, he said he couldn't talk to us. Yeah. Three four tingle copy. Not sure why that was, but that we, it copy. does happen, you know. Yeah, not everyone sure, is, well, is going to want our gift card. 
Well, a lot of people have different issues going on in life, too. But... Trying to help. Little, saw a homeless guy with a couple bags there sitting in the, on the sidewalk there. and Thought he'd be a good person to help. So, well, we tried. We tried. We tried to be kind there, but. Was that a huge, like, two gallon bottle of water in? Yeah. That was a huge bottle. Mike, Sam, Kilo, 760. 10 3 4 Tango 3 1. Well, there's a heat. Me you've been touching me. And female said you're supposed to be my dad. Okay, then that's awesome. Can you find that? 3 4 Tango copy. 3 4. Find that on that thing there. 3 1 copy. Do we know where she's at right now? I'm gonna pull up the tracking thing and see if we can figure it out. Hang on a second. Alright, fours. Hang on a second. The fours one. I don't know. Good question. Yeah. 44, 46, clear for it. Keep this kind of quiet. Yeah. Actually, mute that. We're going to mute this for one minute, folks.
Eight. All right, sorry about that. We are uh, happy. Six on three. I got a suburban here going westbound 12th at Jackson with the front passenger door open. Copy. Westbound 12 in Jackson. Passenger door open. Call it 10 3. We had a, we got a domestic. Cop selling west of Minnesota on 12. Passenger door open. Critical incident. Happy What'd you say? Critical incident. Pulling over at Cedar. So just so you know, there's a, obviously a domestic, which could be more than a domestic, more like an assault, potential kidnapping, and uh, Com Center was tracking the phone. Thank goodness. So, sounds like somebody jumped out of the car, or the car door was open. 166 173. A lot of confusion as to where the victim is. Excuse me. 173. Cushing Circle on an AMA on the third floor by the elevator. If you take a right all the way to the exit sign, there's a person so down walking the middle. Here's a 16-year-old black male until, wearing a jacket. So it's all sorted out. We don't know if the car that they got stopped down there is the right car. One seven three zero six seven three one. Go for it. We'll make it. We'll make it. All right. Go for it. Go for it. Long others. Code for at the moment, slow anybody else down. Hopefully they got the potential victim. It's not really clear if she was... Uh, we don't have, we're not really clear. We, we kind of muted it. We didn't want to let the boyfriend know that we knew what was going on. Sounded like she might have been talking to her mom or somebody else, right, Rev? Is that yep. the interpretation of it? There's another squad there. Meanwhile, I had the CAT team head over to 94 in case you're wondering, just in case he stayed on 94, but... Technically, this is 12th Street, and this is where they found the car. Regions Hospital. kind of assuming that they have the female victim in the car, right, Rip? Right, the door was open, but they never she said. say if she had gotten out was walking. I've seen that happen before where people are desperate. Right, 532, DLG. Have a good night, 2130. Probably gonna go up here and turn, because obviously there's 170. plenty of cars here. 170. We'll be clear assisted and then start for the uh, uh, welfare check. Oh, I'm sorry, call on. I think Lauren. What do you think, Rev? Is there room to the right over there or not really? Not really. Happy with the smart assist, 1212 Juliet Avenue. Alright, Hopefully they're here for this call. Happy 21. Because if they're not, they're definitely blocked in. Let's say they're not. They're going over the curb. Are they going to make it? Hmm. A 
supposed to mount a curb up here. No, I don't want a curb. No, you see the person sitting in the curb. Yeah, it looks like they're talking to her. But those medics are going to a different call, aren't they? Uh, I like to curb escape myself. I think that's a good approach. You ready? As long as there's no train coming. Yeah. Right. Squad to near region. Do you still need the air? Negative. Negative. Copy, cancel the 10-3. You're going to break down the Patrick's Navy Tech 1 as well. 21-21-47. Thanks for the region. Contact's fine. Alright, boys, now that we've floated east, why don't we go ahead and work central for a little bit. North of 94. We're going to make a pit stop at the Lacey. So, oh, that 12th and Cedar is right down at the bottom of the state capitol, as you see. Sounds good. As we come up Cedar. The legislature Hi. is in session right now. It's usually a shorter session because it's a, an election year. Rev? Yes, sir. We had a little debrief debriefing Friday night after Deputy Killed got out of the, uh, the hospital. Out of the hospital. Before he headed home. We had the whole cat team there pulling everybody together, right? Yeah. Very, very emotional. <laughs> Rev, Rev, it was, Rev was there, though. 31 year old female. I want to have a complex Look that one up on the phone there, buddy. Happy. You gotta go to the bottom, it's gonna be in the pending. 516, I'm east. What was that? 516, channel 3. Hey Kyle, uh, did you copy that Van Dyke call? I think 2161, isn't that the same address? Are you uh, working Beartooth? Is your Beartooth? 
working at the mess. Concert. Yeah, but it Beartooth is playing, aren't they? Yeah, Beartooth. <laughs> yeah, Rev and I are big Bro, fans. Bro, <laughs> yeah, my uh, sources tell me that you might have swung by here. Yeah, we were looking for you guys, but they said you were eating hot dogs or something. We were assisting a gentleman that was kind of wayward, but uh, there's still room in the mosh pit if you want to come back. <laughs> there's a lot of cars there if you head to the Coles parking lot in. Yeah, there's 3,500 people here. It's sold out. Down, walking the stairwell. Thank you. You're welcome. So 3,500 people at the Myth Nightclub in Maplewood sold out for Beer Tooth. He didn't even know it was Beer Tooth, did he? No, you had to tell him. He said it was a concert. <laughs> yeah, bear tooth. Bear tooth. Well, we're headed to this call. It's just a loud screaming or a loud yelling call, but. I don't believe this individual wants to stop for the police. Um, I'll look to Mariah here and then she's going to go. Happy calling up to Mariah. Can I use my direct? Man. Hey, I'm turning on to Mariah and... That's a deep voice. Looks like he wants to pull over. Alright. <laughs> so we're going to be at uh, Mariah and Cemetery. Oh, good. Can I be pulling over at Mariah and Cemetery? I'll use the red. I'll take another if you got one of the lights. Alright, here's your class. You just left the back 236 MRM 7. Holiday for a missing person. Holiday's two-year-old son. Took off after an argument. Reason for the stop is you're going overnight down the freeway. So here's the park if you want. Copy And then across the street over at the school. Which school is this? Is this? Uh, Obama. Yeah. What did it used to? Washington. No, when Someone my daughter went here, it was, uh... Broke it, and then you just wanted to broke it. <sighs> my daughter went to this school. Uh, well, keep your eyes peeled there, Rob. The problem is... I don't Webster. St. Paul's name. Webster. Webster, that's what it is. We're going to try to get in there, drive through there in case someone's being attacked. Hmm. Does not look like easy access for vehicles, does it, Rob? No, it looks like they're under construction. Sure does. The whole school's torn apart in there. Oh, remodeling the whole thing, huh? Yeah. Oh, they did close that this school this year. Tore that thing apart. Same park car. Coming around the other way. 
Wow, thank goodness. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll just keep looking. No, thank you. Did you happen to hear any screaming? A woman screaming in the park over there? Behind the building? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remember that face? Yeah. In case it turns out. <laughs> he's, he's involved. You just never know nowadays, do you? Never know. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I see these guys if they heard screaming. Nice, nice and loud. Hey! Hi. Did you hear any screaming? No, we just walked out too because we live in the condo that's right here. No, we didn't hear any sounds. Okay. Good. Yeah, but someone called and said there was a woman screaming. Oh no! In the park, we weren't sure if it's a roundabout or over here by the school. Well, we literally just came out like less than sixty seconds, so I haven't heard anything yet. Okay. Okay. Well, I should say yet. Yeah, hopefully not. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank Be you. Safe, guys. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Thank you. Is that whole place fenced in or can you get in there? Oh, that's a good question. Do right? we know? <laughs> it looks like it's all fenced in, but you just never know, Gina. Hmm. Look at your phone. Gonna, huh? Look at your phone. What? The man was yelling, not the woman. Oh, it's a man? Well, you got the phone. One male unknown you, who he was yelling at. 173. I think we outsmarted the fence. Don't you? Yeah. He got up and ran away. We're going to go in here. SNR. Check out the park. No sense in driving around aimlessly, but we did think there was a fence surrounding the whole thing, right? Found the whole. The this is technically the park right over here. Yep. So we are in the park. Now this is 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 this Webster the old Webster? Yep. Yeah. So we had to practice football every now and then. Yeah. And they fixed up old Jimmy Lee. You realize how crazy that was to have everything fenced in except for that part one part? I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't know if they're preventing the people or kind of. Right, as far as you want to go. Is there a fence there or not? No. Poles, right? Yeah. That's well, a fence. So there's a fence there and poles. Yeah, the yeah. familiar. And Can I go right over there? Yep. That'd be a Hello? Best. Hello, anybody? Anybody there? Thank you. Can you put all available down on the on an average until it falls an hour, please? Okay. Well, what do you think, Rob? <laughs> I don't Go think. Ahead. No. Doesn't, I copied the doesn't that look inviting? Copy. No. <laughs> They you gotta back up all the way yeah. up. We're in the area. Can you get her on the line and just have her step out so we can talk to her? So far, she's still on the line with Mama, so I'll step out. Well. Copy. Okay, then. I guess we've cleared the park. Yeah, you can tell them the park is clear.
I know St. Paul is thinking, why is he out there? Oh, God, they probably didn't know how to get in. He came in the secret entrance. Happy Wakefield Park, please. Parking lot at 2012. There's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Proximity. So that one that didn't do that. It's kind of strange. Every time I drive down Laurel there, right at that turn there, uh -huh. I think I've probably told this story three years ago. It reminds me of a in a critical incident that happened to me that uh, you never the, the, the memory will never go away right? so I see this car following this car down Dale Street driving reckless south right here past Selby alright mm -hmm. right, right here in front of me but I'm going south on Dale and so Right about here, I, I turn the red lights on. Alright? The car turns the corner right here on Laurel where we were. Out there, I mean, you never forget these kind of calls. Right. The call turns the, cor turns the corner right here and then pulls over right here, right here. And the driver gets out of the car and starts running down the street. Now, I'm parked behind the car. The driver's running down the street. And the driver is a white male running down the street. And then the passenger gets out of the car. And the passenger I recognize because it's one of two people, two twin brothers that I know from the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And the... And so, all of a sudden, the uh, I order the guy to stop running. Hey, hey, what are you doing? And this other guy says, the other guy off the passenger side said, I've been stabbed. I've been stabbed. Well, now the guy that's running turns around and runs back toward me. Okay. I've been stabbed. I've been stabbed. All right. So now I got two guys, two guys running at me saying they've been stabbed by the other guy. All right. So now as the, as the driver gets closer to me, the passenger then takes off running. And there's a big snow pile right here to my left. Mm -hmm. He dies over the snow pile. So now I figure he's the bad guy and the other guy is the stab guy. The stab guy comes up and grabs me and falls at my feet. Says, I've been stabbed, I've been stabbed. So, uh, I could tell he was fading fast. He wasn't going to last three minutes till the medics got there. Mm -hmm. So I threw him in the back of my car. Of course, that could have been a terrible decision. But it felt like the right decision at the time. I threw him in the back of my car and I flew down to Regents. Got on the radio saying we're coming in with a stab victim, et cetera, et cetera. So they met me there. He was unconscious when we pulled there. They threw him right in the emergency room. His heart stopped. The amazing doctors at Regions 
got him going again. They operated. He had a nicked artery that was Ooh. comes out of his lungs, you know, and he was he lost so much blood. And uh, so basically, he survived it. Wow. And I went to see him a couple <laughs> days later, and he told me he had an out of body experience where he saw him, saw him he was floating above his body when his heart had stopped. And uh, I had no reason to, no reason to doubt him. <laughs> so, anyhow, because I couldn't identify which of the two twins it was, we never really got that guy charged. But, uh, traffic. Anyhow. Even after 10, King Papa, November 395. So, anyhow, after that, my heart rate, I was a sergeant out here in the street. My heart rate was like 180, 200. You know, mm -hmm. I went home. It never slowed down. <laughs> so I went down to the hospital. I said, yeah, I think I, I think I, my heart's not slowing down. The nurse looked at me and said, oh, let me just check. So she grabbed my wrist and she, she yelled, I got a racer on board. I got a racer on board. Get him in. So apparently they take that seriously. Yeah. Tacky. Is that what they call it? Yeah. Tacky cardia. So anyhow, once I got in there, I got a little calming medicine. Everything was fine. But um, Glad the guy lived. Because, you know, you just, it's a tough call. You take, I know I can get him to the hospital in less than three minutes. It'll take three minutes for the medics to get here. You know, then they got to figure out how they can get an IV in him fast enough. I don't know. I just decided that if it was me, I'd want the ride. <laughs> it's a very close call. But, you know, you just go up to the freeway, you jump down there, you're off. You can get there in less than three minutes. Right. So I think his name was Larry. Hope you're doing okay, Larry. But every time I turn that corner on Laurel and Dale, I think. You, you gotta remember it. I can't remember. I can't remember if I fired a warning shot or not. I fired a few warning shots in my day, which back then were all legal. Uh -huh. You know, I was trying to get the guy to stop, but but uh, I can't remember if that's one of the cases. So, but I do remember that bad guy jiving over that snowbank. Eighteen thirty-six was Alpha Zebra X-ray eight seven four. Rev, what are you doing on your phone today? Are you texting? No, I gotta check the Where hockey are you score. Going? Oh, hockey scores. <laughs> uh, let's see, bracket. I think that's what I did last time. But you're not even going to the games tomorrow. You're going to a basketball game. You still gotta know the scores. You work for Bob it's Fletcher. A state tournament. Who won the last game? Was the basketball at night? Maybe I can. I got tickets for the afternoon, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it. So if I don't make it, should I send you and Andre the tickets? Yeah. And you guys go to hockey for the afternoon. Let's get to the one o'clock game or something. Yeah, that'd be fun. Wear your Thank uniform. You. Yeah. Go down there. No, no score yet.
Wednesday night. Wednesday. It's hump day. There should be something going on. I meant to go down to Billy's as long as we were down there. I forgot to get by there. Quiet out here, pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. Give us the facts. Read, read the gospel. Towards Chuck fil -A. Unknown weapons. Time delay now. Uh, both H or Somali males. One blue hoodie Nike with yellow zipper, gray jeans, green backpack. Number two with the blue hoodie. You know what they took? Two bags of goods and we took off toward uh, Snelling. I mean, Chick fil A. Unknown weapons. Well, they probably headed to the bus line, huh? So, this has something to do with Hennepin County. Really? They, the Hennepin Police is acknowledgement received from Hennepin Police. Oh, it got transferred, probably. Oh, I'll probably get a transfer. Listen to Lou. 
diagnose those games. I don't, I don't really want them to quit. At least nobody knows hockey better than me laying here. We're gonna miss you. As we go up here, as we pass Hoy, we're going to go through the city of Falcon Heights, you know, which the sheriff's office does police, um, but it's not contiguous with any of our other six cities. But we have been hopeful that Falcon Heights would find another law enforcement partner. So this month they're having two open houses. I don't know when they are. I think the first one's on the but before their city council meetings to try to see what the residents think about going back with uh, St. Anthony Police Department. They did not say that they were threatening anyone. That squad for Edna just got into a white van. Rev, are you doing okay, whatever? Yeah. Did you find it? It just got into a white van. Were they, was the guy afraid of him or what? Yeah. Was outside with a knife. Outside, drunk. With a knife. Yeah. Outside, drunk with a knife. I think that's just a little north of Clarence and uh, Maryland there. 1300. I saw Roseville. Only one male had a big knife. Well, do damage. One guy with a knife. One guy with a knife. Alright, so Rev. Full gentleman or Chick fil A. Chick fil A. We are here now. Remember the cup food theft? Yeah. I saw the Roseville car on the other side of the street. Let's assume that these suspects are trying to grab. Direction of travel. And just to clarify, nobody was threatened with this knife. Grab a bus. No one at this point has been threatened or struck with One the blue hoodie. Nike hey, with the yellow uh, zipper. Does not have the direction of travel. Oh. Only male had one big knife. And one. Then the other one's got a dark blue hoodie on. Got it. Yeah, blue hoodie. Check out the bus stop. Can I do one? What's that guy doing? Male went up the door and she well, here's the thing. If they but stole two bags of groceries, they got to be carrying two bags with them, right? Yeah, let's, they set them down. Well, let somebody walk. white bear number three. Comp was just hit in the head with a hammer. Oh. Comp has the hammer. Female walked away. Transfer. Thirteen thirty-five white bear. Comp got hit in the head with a hammer by a female. Six one three. Six one three. In relationship to a casualty. Shall we clear the last call and just get the hammer results? Thirteen thirty Fairmont. Three seven six all breaking. Keep three seven five clear. Let's see what we got here over by Chick Fil A. People here for sure. Copy. You just want the, yeah, the only thing is, if the suspects had a car, they're long gone. Uh, whoever wants to come. But if they didn't. Two six five. Everyone should roll that way. Copy. Two six nine. Wait on the second break. I think I had a Nerf gun. Did you notice that? No. There must be the Nerf Force season again. 376 going. 376 going. Might be taken off on an Echo Uniform Yankee 165. Echo Uniform Yankee 165. Echo Uniform Yankee 165. Remember that, Rev? Copy vehicle might be taken off for 373. Your location. That's the 
car with the knife. Northbound clearance from Maryland. They might be pulling into uh, the parking lot here at the liquor store. That's what I was thinking. They're pulling back over. Clearance is North Maryland. Copy that. Squads are going to 1335 White Bear Avenue, take channel 2. Squads for 1335 White Bear Avenue, take channel 2 up. Well. Well. I see a cop doesn't know the female suspect's name, but if we could, can we work in a description, please? It's like Little Blue said. Okay. And what did Little Blue say? Escape. <laughs> You ever see the Nemo movie? No. <laughs> you never saw Nemo? No. Oh, for crying out loud. Ellen DeGeneres plays. Three to eight. Blue. Julie. I can't believe week. that. I'm going to force you to watch that at work. <laughs> That's a classic. Anyhow, they're inside, a, just, you know, they're inside a old ship. Sunk three, ship. Three, three, seven, they're being three, chased by a vehicle. shark. Okay? Uh -huh. Clear from Maryland. Uh -huh. Maryland. Uh -huh. Maryland. Uh -huh. Maryland. Uh -huh. Maryland. Times four. It was the only vehicle that came out of that head. And N oh. Nemo and her are trying to get out for the shark. Choose them up. So you're looking for ways to get out. Well, there's a there's a hatch. Yeah, her name's Dory, by the way. You never heard of Dory? Dora. Dory. Dora's the explorer. Dory's the little blue fish. Anyhow, she's looking for a way to get out, and he and she says, "Dory, did you find did you find anything?" And she goes, "I don't know. It says escape." Twenty eight three clear Escape. Escape, yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a child movie expert, you know that, right? I hear. I Escape. hear. Tutorial female ring, blue green The shark was you know A A class for sharks not to eat people, you know, but not to eat other fish. It's a long story, but you really gotta watch Nemo. It's one of the best classics of all time. All right, so we we leave the east side, we come over to this side, and then there's a knife call over there, right? Now there's an assault call at White Bear Avenue. Yeah, 1300 White Bear. Yeah, we're not any closer to that either. But. seen that movie Ordinary Angels yet because I decided I had to wait until my emotions weren't quite so peaked. <laughs> you know, but I'm going to go see it now. You're like an ordinary angel to us. Right, right. right. You are. You are. <laughs> and to a lot of people. Hey. To a lot of people. We try, we try. And for backseaters, of course, we don't we don't have to talk about kindness as much when we got people like Rev working for us because they demonstrate kindness. But remember, that's a huge part of live on patrol. Just be kind to other people. Thank you. It doesn't cost you a thing. Kindness is contagious. So, D 
day before yesterday, in the spirit of needing comfort food, I went to Mavericks again. <laughs> and uh, I love that place. It's legitimately the best open faced turkey sandwich. I don't know how they do it, but their turkey is always perfect. Now, a lot of other people like their roast beef. They got like a Caribbean something there, too. I don't really understand it. But I've been telling Mike for a while that a lot of people don't know you're open because your sign doesn't light up. So when I was there the other day, guess what? Ah, it's lit up. They got the sign fixed. Huh? How about that? Now, obviously, they're closed right now. It's 1030. But I, I swear to God, if you want some good food... Stop by Mavericks. It's, uh, I mean, I don't know how, I, I don't know how they can consistently have the best turkey in town like that. Mashed potatoes, gravy, hot dog Joe, my buddy hot dog Joe, yeah, he likes the, say he loves it. He, he likes the roast beef sandwich, sandwich but Joey. Mavericks out on Lexington, just north of Larpenter. And they got the sign working. There'll be a lot more people coming in here now that they know they're open. Right. So, Me and Beverly came not long ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, as long as we're here, I gotta tell you, the thing about Mavericks is, well, they don't have fresh pies like Keys does, right? <laughs> so smartest man then I stopped down here to get a coconut cream pie. He got the apple caramel the Keys Bakery right there in the corner. Now I'm not saying it was the same day as Mavericks, okay? Because that was, I'm not saying that, okay? <laughs> 5181, show me out with one that's smelling in kind of a big boy. Ted's bar, at least the one, the, one, the one sign works. Como Park. Como Park. Game or what? Oh no, I'm looking at the, the calls. calls. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the calls are interesting tonight. Well, read some into the let the, let the back know what you got. This juvenile incident. What time is it? 10.30. 10 Thank you. Whoever the, said that? The goal is under review. Oh, apparently, it's a goal. <laughs> it's a goal. Thank you to Channel 45 and the 
KSTP Television for covering these tournament games. Greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated the Hubbard Broadcasting for the great work they do to cover these tournaments. Thank you, Mr. Hubbard. We need to just start like we're going to a side of town, then turn around. <laughs> Maybe if we stop, problems will come to us. What do you think? Yeah. Problems will come to us. Remember, don't drive a trailer that's less taller than 10 6 through here. Uh, don't think it'll work. What's happening? Right, Cushing Circle. So read me the description of the guy in Cushing we're looking for. Uh, let's see. Black male, 20s, 5'10", thin build. A little louder, please. Black male, 20s, 5'10", thin build. Last seen wearing a red puffy jacket with the hood. Blue jeans, no rubbing seen. Red puffy jacket, blue jeans. And, and he's supposed to be in a storage area or what? Uh, What's it third say? floor storage room. And they can buzz you in if you need him to. He's supposed to be trespassed? Uh, he is trespassed. Okay, well, we're going to let St. Paul go in the building. They're not here right now, but they were just dispatched. You and I are going to look outside the building for when he flees. Quite the complex. Very, very difficult and confusing, to be honest. But this is 1160. What's the address? 1158? Yeah, go back one here. 1150. 50. That's the next one back over here. Need more help on the white guy? But the problem is he can go exit into that courtyard. We've, we've had these situations before where they exit into the courtyard and we can't really... Can't really get good eyes on inside there. But... I'm going to stay outside here. He might know somebody in there that might let him in. Uh, there's 1150 right there. Yeah. Lizzie, we'll just give you guys a peek at it. Anybody in there? Nope. I mean, the parking lot does a loop, so if he came in a car. We're going to be able to see him, but the problem is there's also under building parking here. 
that it could be parked in. It's a beautiful complex down here, but this whole energy park drive development. You see that courtyard in the middle there? Yeah. Around? You can't really get in there. You gotta walk in. But the Burlington Apartments. 1150, 1160, 1170, and 1180 Cushing Drive. Yeah. This Laurel game is now tied 2-2. But of course, our lives, we've been Just on the east side of Bandana Square. Bandana's the bandana is oh there's somebody over there. Can you recode DKP please? I don't think that's <laughs> our people, but the bandana is because this is an old railroad yard. Yeah. Of course engineers used to wear bandanas, right? Lady standing in the building. What'd you say? I said there was a lady standing in the doorway. Yeah, but she didn't fit. That better. was a lady 1170. Yeah. For those of you that weren't working last night, we had a silver Corolla. Fox Trot X ray Edward 320. And the red CRV, Fall Boy Yellow 532. Both were moving around a little bit on the east side there last night. Asian male driver suspects for the both of them. Remember that? Well, yeah, well, that's probably was parked in front of 1080 Geranium, so we'll make, I'll check that area. That kid's a hard worker, huh? <laughs> that Abdi? Yeah. He's a hard worker. Westbound 694, approaching Central. With Richard Lambert, George, 744. Looks like Magic Player can make it up back on the left lane. How's it going? How are you? I saw you guys loading. Was there a party over here today or what? Um, no, today was. Oh, your lights are really hurting my eyes. Let me fix. I can fix um, that. No, um, we're Green Goddess Laurel. Okay. And we had what's called the Rock Star Installation Workshop all day today. And then from 6 until 8, the Essence had an open house. Okay. So everybody here got to literally experience what it looks like with a full fledged wedding. And for people who oh. haven't booked their wedding, oh, really? That's cool. Did a wedding ceremony like display and disco balls galore. And Do you have any leftover cake? Um, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. For the smell of marijuana coming from the No, no. So there's no, so All right. Well, it sounds like sounds like fun. Car, so I have to come back in the morning. Oh, that's too bad. Was the venue good? Did you like the venue? Have you not ever been in there? No, I haven't. Um. Yes. It's amazing. It's, no. Can I get a squad back? One, two, I mean, six. I've been in Bandana Square, but not this venue no. hall. Um, Lowe's, he, he did an amazing job. He's happy, 2241. That's basically converting it into an entire usable bedding one use space into different categories. And the up, half upstairs is offices, and the other half is the bridal space. 
Wow. Cool. That's pretty cool. Well, yeah, I'll have to get in there. Well, drive carefully. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice, to, nice to talk to you. Yeah, Thank nice you very much. Uh, she had a lot of flowers. <laughs> yeah. She did. Oh, we should get in there sometime, Rev. Take a look at that. I'm... Yeah, I've never been in there. Matamita is now winning. Three to two. Okay, that's interesting, isn't it? I know a few people that are there at the game rooting for the Matamida. You know? Three to two with five minutes left. Man, oh man, oh man. That's exciting. Oh, let's check, see what the people are talking about on Live on Patrol. Just gotta check something here for a minute here. Just hold on to that. You keep checking Live on Patrol. Well, quietly rooting for Alex Rogoszewski. He's the coach of Montemita. Oh, okay. So, I know him and his father for many years, so, you know, it's not a diss on Orono. I just got to be, uh, it's got to be loyal to the Rogoszewski family. Alex and his father Paul. Good luck to you here in the last five minutes. Yeah. up a call. Make you know, one up. <laughs> make one up. Make one up. Yeah. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. It's true. That's what they actually used to do on those old microphones. Yeah. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Stay slow for 15 minutes. I think we'll call it a night, huh? It's getting ready to get busy. You told me I was 23 six once the first thing. Getting ready to get busy. Coming. <laughs> One seven three. One seven three. Assistant 25. NBI PT. Happy 23. Energy Park. 2446, Did I tell you what I got to do tomorrow morning? No, what did I do? Well, let me ask you this, Rev. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> Get ready, backseaters. Let's pass the backseaters. What, what are the three things they dislike doing the most? Three things, backseaters, that you dislike doing the most. Okay? 
because I'm not saying this is the number one thing that I dislike doing, but it's in, it might be number three. Okay, but you gotta give us the three things you dislike doing the most. Three things. And I would, I would, I would sure hope we would all agree that number one in that list is having a colonoscopy. Right? Right. Right? Okay, so that's not it. That's not what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> but you guys, no, because we wouldn't be riding around at night. Well, that's true, too. <laughs> but, uh, you backseaters, what are number two and three things that you, you hate to do? Going to the dentist, going to the doctor, We, all, I, we need a few Both more. Both of them got a like. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the dentist got five likes. <laughs> Let's see, nobody else is responding yet. Going to work. Well, you got to do that. <laughs> A whole lot of people is liking going to the dentist. <laughs> that is it. Okay? <laughs> and we're in agreement there. Going to the dentist. Not going to the DMV, huh? <laughs> no. Going to the dentist. Wow. Well, thank you. Matamita just went up 4-2 on an empty net goal. Oh, I meant to tell you that. Yeah. Thanks. Two minutes left. Yeah, somebody said going to the in-laws' house during the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> somebody said watching the Green Bay Packers play the Minnesota Vikings. Well, that is painful. <laughs> you got that right. Anyone you got that right. I guess cousins gonna get traded, huh? Is that the latest rumors? That's the latest. Atlanta. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we're all in agreement about the dentist being number two. Yeah, it's up to 18 likes. <laughs> Going to the in laws is jumped up. I didn't, I, you know, I, I liked going to my wife's mom and dad's house because, uh, well, first of all, Debbie, her sister, five, three, her, si meet, uh, her sister always cooked five, three, maybe five, two. No, but, score five three. Four, 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 okay. But Debbie always cooks. The whole family cooks. So, um, but when you go to the in-laws, you don't have to clean all the dishes. Right. Come on, let's get that straight. Yeah. There's pros and cons to everything in life. That's what I tell all my kids. Pros and cons. Lincoln Harry Palm, 304, Long Lake Road, Peg Lake Circle. Peg Lake Circle. Peg Lake Circle. I've never heard of that street. That's one of the few I've never heard of. <laughs> University Avenue. I don't know what it cost to put the green line in. Probably was only a billion. But they're talking about two billion for the shuttle from down for the light rail from downtown to the airport. Yeah.
Boy, I wonder what they're going to do with all these empty buildings. <laughs> well, you know, um, a developer did buy a big chunk of this. He's going to develop a restaurant place area for people coming to the soccer games. Right. So that's going to be fun. If you build the right combination of restaurants, bars. It'll always be thriving. It'll always, people will always, I mean, you got to have parking. Right. Got to have parking. Then you add a sports venue on top of it, and it's even better. But people will come if there's critical mass. Yeah. And here's the other thing, safety. They're not coming if they're going to get carjacked. Yep. Rob or whatever it might be. Provide a level of safety. And to be frank, over here on the, our side of the river, we're doing that pretty good. I mean, we're, for the most part, you can tell when we drive around, things have calmed down a lot. A whole been. lot. Calmed down a ton. Granted, some of our kids living here have moved to Minneapolis. Proud of the level of safety we're able to provide. In fact, I'm trying to I'm pulling statistics on crime for the first two months this year because uh, clearly some of these crimes have dropped off dramatically. And since the new catalytic converter law took effect last August, we've had far fewer catalytic converter thefts too. Right. Just imagine I had a Mitsubishi for all month. I know. <laughs> Dino got hit twice. It's, uh, it's crazy, man. Just crazy. Well, we are going to do one sweep down West 7th Street. See all the fans that are bailing out of the Civic Center. Make sure they stay safe. And there will be lots of them. Lots of them. Although the Class A is never quite as crowded as the Class Double A, but but it's pretty. I'm sure it'll be a good crowd. A lot of good hockey. Sometimes you know some of. Some of those little towns got amazing teams. Well, Hermantown, War Road, I mean, they always got some amazing players. Montemita used to give St. Thomas a run every year. In that section in the old days. Happy for Cretan that they made it there, back there. Yeah, they made it back. Trying to go hockey and basketball. Twenty-three, Yeah, they got potential to make it in both. They didn't have one seed in uh, our section. In that section. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. I'll be interrupt you four six seven Ivy if there's a squad available to assist with evidence collection. Three one six, I can go. Stop McDonald's again, Rev? No. Okay. No. We'll be in eight all You know, I didn't make it home tonight. But my wife ordered me one of my favorite meals. And you ate at McDonald's? Well, I the problem is I didn't get home to eat it, so I had to I had to I had to eat something because I was at work late. Kyle Meeston and I were working on uh, 
some administrative items down at work. And uh, so she ordered, uh, she got delivered to the house, uh, Famous Dave's, Famous Dave's. You like Famous Dave's, yes. right? Uh, Famous Dave's got some great food. But they used to have a Cajun chicken sandwich there. Mm -hmm. And they don't have it on the menu anymore. But if you ask real nice, they'll make the chicken sandwich Cajun. A little blackened Cajun spice. Why are you laughing? It's important. It's Anyhow, with a little touch of onion ring on there, too. And those big fries. And it's sitting at home. You get beans on the side if you want. Well, that's why I didn't eat much of McDonald's. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what it's. At. That's what's home in the refrigerator. The famous Dave's Cajun chicken sandwich. All right, let's go see Excel Energy Center. Home of the greatest hockey high school hockey tournament in America. And also the Frozen Four is coming here too, right? Yeah. And you know, in Minneapolis right now is the uh, Big Ten Women's. Big Ten Women's. That's all sold yeah, out. All sold out. They all want to see that girl, from, that woman from Iowa shoot the threes. And she shoots them. They say she's changed the game because she's such a great shot. I guess if you can shoot threes, you can play for any team in the world, right? I don't know if she's changed the game. She's raised the level of the game. Yeah, but I mean... The woman's game, for changed sure. Changed the profile, changed... But did she beat Pistol Pete? Is that a Matamide shirt? Yeah. Go Zephyrs! see people having fun in downtown St. Paul. There they are. You can see them all walking. Yeah, there they are. Leaving the game early. Look at all those people walking. Well, and it had the, the big rush hasn't even started yet. Okay, okay, okay. Congratulations, Matamida, Alec Rogoszewski, his dad, Paul. They're just bailing out. The, the officers have not yet stopped the traffic. Here we go. A lot of them. Reeds will be busy. Holiday Inn, Wild Bills, Oxbow, Truck Park, Cassettas. Tomorrow night it'll even be busier. Only because the larger the schools are, the bigger the attendance. Well, the way Minnesota works is the largest, well, I shouldn't say largest. 64 teams are in the double A. And usually it's based on school enrollment size. But you can petition to go up or down. Right. If you want to be in a smaller, but you got to wait, or you want to be upper. So. Looks like there was a LPR hit in the afternoon at a quarter to two. Uh, 35th Street between you know, Bright and Aldrich in yeah. Minneapolis for that uh, silver Corolla. Must be wearing white shirts for, I'm not sure. I gotta figure That's that out. Very interesting to know. Those white shirts, see there? Are they must, mm -hmm. must for one team or the other. I don't know if that's Orono or Matamida, but. 
have to figure that out. good for people to feel safe. You know, we even we'll turn our rear lights on, let them know there's police officers here. You know, I just face it, a lot of people come in from the suburbs and from out state. They're never 100% certain. Is that in North Minneapolis or South? How they feel about going into the city. So our goal is to make them feel safe. Right. Right? That's the goal of all St. Paul. Just the uh, south part of uptown. Well, they're having fun. <laughs> Who is this on our bump our bed uh why? I think it's that homeless lady. Somebody dancing over there or what? Yeah. Case number eight is zero four two two. Homeless person or not? I think so. Well, there is that one girl that lives down here on this corner. Yeah, she she doesn't have on shoes. No shoes? Just sounds. Cold rub, let's turn the heat up. Yeah. And you can roll your window up and greet all the humans. Copy Zoom in there. They to go home. The protected party is not at the address, just the respondent. And you're referencing the inactive. You didn't see the roll it down that far. Yes, resident protected top form. Yeah, you make that day when you turn the lights on. Huh? You turn the lights on, you make their day. They right, come we'll take well, how are you? Hey, Good, were you at the game or not? No. 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 Just came Thank down. You nice to see you guys again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Pre appreciate it. I know, thank you. Thank, thank you. Say hi to Rev. Hi. <laughs> Hopefully we're done with winter, huh? Uh, I think so. Hopefully we're done with winter. I would like that. You too, thank you. <laughs> I wonder who's got the white shirts on. There's one side of the equation has white shirts on. Must be like a whiteout, huh? Must have been a whiteout. It's a whiteout. Well, look at your phone here. Someone's going to tell us who the whiteout team was. Because. Whiteout. It's 46 degrees here, in case you're wondering. Well, usually every hockey tournament, within three days before or after, we get a major snowstorm. So this is very unusual not to have a major snowstorm. Of course, the first couple weeks in March are traditionally a lot of moisture. Twenty-one six five. All right, who had on the white t-shirts today? Our place 2364, I'm much closer. Thanks for coming. Just 183, showing out the mail, selling a bee. A lot of cars pulling out of here, people Copy. going to their cars. 119. They are safe, 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 safe. 
We're at 7th and Chestnut, folks. Kind of the center of a little 7th Street business strip here. Tom Reeds is the block down on our left. I'm thinking they're saying Montemita had on the white. Yeah, Montemita had on the white. Really? Shirt. Yeah. Okay, you know I hate I hate when we guess. Yeah. My wife should know, right? Right. Let's so see if she sent us. Bravo zero eight four zero eight. Oh, that's a Zephyr. Yeah. Nothing in the bank, Robinson. Nothing in the bank, People must have left early. Well, some of them leave because if you're not there for the Arno Matamita game, right. you don't stay. But there's a lot of people. That big parking ramp over behind us. Mm -hmm. A lot of people park. I mean, a lot of people come to the restaurants before the game. Right. But oh, you a, remember we worked it two yeah, years. Eleven oh eight. You know, we can see that to our left. You can see car after car. Those cars are coming out of the Civic Center parking ramp. Yeah. And there's just car after car after car bailing out of here. So, I mean, it's pretty much non-stop. I love to watch people have fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just love it. I love to watch people have fun. And that's what this is and all about. And they're so relaxed because they're, they're comfortable. Yep. Happy Coach Mark. Find your own Alright, well, let's. If it's on channel one, it's right here. Assume this is going to be okay here. Do a little loop de loop. It's the head of the Tom Reeds group there. Greetings. <laughs> Burger Moses. Twenty one six four, you can clear squad UTF. Copy, twenty three nine. So right there in front of us is the Exxon Energy Center, home of the Minnesota Wild, and venue of some amazing tournaments. Tomorrow night there won't be an empty seat in the house for Thursday night's game, and Friday night's semifinals of Double A. Those two games. Packed. You can't buy that ticket right now. Friday. Some people say it's easier to watch on television. Anyhow, <laughs> Friday night semifinals. Some of the greatest games of all time have taken place in Friday night semifinals. Four overtimes. You know, it's just so fun to watch. And I don't know how the flow is going, but usually the hockey hair competition is in uh, full swing too, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. See who's got the best hockey hair. There will be a video at the end. Now, one guy was going to quit doing that, but I think he got, he got called out of retirement to keep ranking the hockey hair, right? Right. He videotapes them when they get introduced for their first game, and he does some ra ratings and gives them some different... One ranking, go ahead. Different uh, names. The address has been changed to 
Can I do that one? Take a swing through your place. St. Paul Hotel there in front of us. Bryce Park. Maybe those blue lights are for law enforcement. What do you think? Probably. Should we just go with that? Yeah. Transit, as always, is out here working the Metro Transit station. They took the steps down, I mean the seats down today. Seats, which seats? They used to sit right here on the wall. Oh, yeah, looks like there's some construction going on. Yeah, they took the wall out. Did they open the door to the Skyway yet or not? No. No? Okay. But they took away the seating area. Great duck. Quite interesting. Yeah, the county attorney's office has moved out of that building over to the by you guys, right? Yeah, in this on this corner. Yeah. Like Bob and a Victory Ramp over here, the corner of Fifth and Wabasha, right? How do yeah. you get in? What's the main right door? Here. Right there. That's right the door there. to the county attorney's office. That's the new county door. Three. 60 or 300? 360. It's hard to read that. 2460 of traffic. Lower Afton and Century with David, Robert, George. 253. Lower Afton and Century. Quantum State Sergeant Takabi, 1949, University Avenue, Unit 207, for an SIP. Holder's 24 year old daughter just lit her wrist. That's never good. 124, expect. Cammy. And 128, it looks like she used a knife on one if she still has it. 128, Cammy. Yeah, there's some theater activity down here too lately, which is great. A lot of people I see coming out of some of these theaters. Yeah. What was the one? Chelsea Cutler was playing. One, two, four. Fitzgerald was uh, no, right in front of us. It was kind of packed earlier. Was it? Yeah. My apologies, disregard. And then that place, Amsterdam, what is that? Is that a bar or something? They had a line of people. Yeah. Well, I think they have bands playing in there, too. I mean, they had a line all the way down the street. Yeah, you know, the thing about downtown St. Paul is making a comeback because it's safe. Right. You know, you, you can saw most people walking there. They're safe down there. It's, it's a good thing. It's a good, good team effort to create a better environment down there. Well, Rev, what do you got to say? What are you going to say? Say goodnight to the backseaters. Because <laughs> we got to go. I got to get home. I got to find 
well, you know what I got to do? I got to get my teeth ready for the morning. You know, everybody does they're that. They get they they double floss. You know, right? Oh, you got to go home brush. and eat. Huh? Huh? You got to go home and eat. Oh, that's right. I got to eat that famous days first. Famous days. Famous first. days. Holy mackerel! I should call my wife and make sure it's still there. <laughs> Rocco didn't eat it. You know, Rocco loves chicken. That's his favorite oh, no. human food. Rocco. So whenever you get chicken, you gotta give him a little. What you gotta do is put a little piece on top of his dog food. And he'll eat the little piece and then he'll decide to keep eating the dog food. Wow. It's a good dog. We haven't had any cars free. Nah, not tonight. Nope. Well, I don't have to go home and eat. I just need to go home and sleep. Sleep. <laughs> you were busy today. Yeah, we had a good day. We had a good day. Me and Moody trying to uh, make sure everything's together as we short transition, go from one season to the next. Uh, well, can we also get a phone number? Because we don't our, think uh, we're going to get the okay. snowstorm. <laughs> yeah, good point. Okay. So, yeah, get ready. Thank you, It's a big question. When to take your snow tires off? Yeah. Okay. I think it's it, I think it's time to put the coats away and yeah. Thank you for everything you did all winter. Yeah, and if by chance we, we get cold, we got a few things sitting there ready to go. And John Sergeant Scheller told me today, make sure you tell them you don't need no more coats. <laughs> we can wait till next year. But uh, somebody else told me this is the smartest time to buy for next year. Well, there is that. Yeah. So we didn't have to store the stuff. I do like uh, Jennifer, our my elf. She just puts them in her house in the closet. Yeah, that's nice. All right, backseaters, thank you for joining us tonight. We'll uh, Pat and I will be out Friday. Um, I'm not going to promise that I don't have a TV in the car Friday to watch the semifinals <laughs> for that last game that probably won't get going till 8.30, 4 to 9. It all depends, of course. It's possible I might even ask Pat just to handle it himself till it's going because if White Bear makes it to that final game on Friday night, I will, I will have to watch White Bear. <laughs> Root, Root on the Bears. Uh, like I said, a lot of those kids played with Bobby when he was little. And uh, I have affinity for some of those kids on that team. So That's all we got. That's it. Thank you. Tune in, tune in Friday. I don't know if Pat will be out tomorrow or not. It's possible. Possible he'll be out.